This morning after a viral Facebook post, I'm talking about this one with the cry to help to bring in business or possibly shut its doors. Well, Central Texans, we did what we do best. We help one another out when in need. This business is uh, my whole life. Kevin Stewart, also known as Cheesy, says he's worked hard for this store. It's a tender spot. I saved up the money to open my own shop, and it took about four and a half years, and I did it. He finally opened his own meat market after working for other locations. Open June 1st, 2020, right in the heart of the pandemic. It was rare at a time when lots of businesses were closing their doors, but his opening was well done. It's the first job I've ever had that someone genuinely cared about your, his employees. So it's, it's, a, it's a good job, very good job. Thank you for calling Cheesy's Meat Market. How can we help you? It was it was crazy. Born and raised in Belton, 48 years, my whole life. I still live in the same neighborhood I grew up in. But now, three years after opening his doors. You see here lately, it's been real stressful. <laughs> he and his team haven't been able to make ends meet. Had a hard time paying the bills. I mean, it's, it's getting hard to fight to, to keep the doors open. This is his life. This is everything. He put everything into the store. So Cheesy put out the call to action on the market's Facebook page, asking the community for support to keep its doors open. It's hard to beg people to come see you. And Central Texas responded. We have people that drive from Gatesville, people drive from Lamb Passes, Culper's Cove, Colleen, Salado, just all over. Some even as far as South Austin. We love him and the food is delicious. His cheesy desk is amazing. Dana McKinney is a bit of a regular at the meat market. I'm here for lunches probably twice a week. She works next door and has seen the business slow down. But after the Facebook post, business saw a two to three day uptick. It turned into one of the best weeks we've ever had for sales, one of the top five. And uh, it's it, it really meant a lot. Yeah, you can definitely tell it meant a lot. Now, I want to direct your attention to here behind me. This construction it has been going on for a while and it won't wrap up to the next year. He says this is possibly affecting his business because you can see it stretches for miles, but it won't end until 2024. And Jasmine, guess what? You heard him say that this helped out a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, he's not asking, he's asking the community not to stop right there. Okay. He's also asking them to keep supporting local businesses across Central Texas, not just his local business but other ones across our area because they need help. These are people, you know, we see every day. Definitely, Micah. You know, I had recently started to shop local and I just kind of feel like when you go into places like Cheesy, you kind of get that family feeling. And yes. that's what I got in that story. So I really hope that there are people out there mm -hmm. who will continue to shop at his his place of business yeah. and keep him afloat because yeah. we need people like that in our community. Some people go there just because of him. Yeah, for sure.